Hey, hi there, Cancer. Welcome to my weekly predictive reading for May 2020. This reading is what you should know about. Crosswatcher energies are interchangeable, so please only take those portions that resonate with you. This is a general reading. Okay, Cancer, off camera to save time, I've performed a protective blessing. I've shuffled and meditated over these cards just for you. And we will be using a card from the Archangel Power Tarot Cards by Radley Valentine. And you've got card number 15, Decision. And now your first card. It's the general atmosphere, the background and the basis of the matter. Cancer, you've got the Nine of Wands. This is someone's moon in Sagittarius. My moon is in Sagittarius. Represents someone who is leery, defensive. Now... This is strength and determination. It's having your defenses up, being on guard. You might be tired and you're waiting. It's strength to overcome trouble. It's the end of a cycle. And there's strength in waiting. It's victory through courage, <clears throat> excuse me, and endurance. It's the pause in the struggle. There's preparedness and strength in reserve. There's eventual victory, but steady force must be applied. Through effort and determination, you've protected what's yours and shown courage under fire and stood your ground. This is a card of recovery. And now you're in a strong position and success is at hand. Your second card, and this is the energy that's crossing over your path. These are your subconscious influences. The Six of Cups, Cancer. This represents Sun and Scorpio. This is a card of happy memories, nostalgia, looking back. There's safety and security. And be open for nurturing. You could be given a gift or receiving a gift. It can be an emotional conversation connecting to your past that will shed light on your future. This is an unmistakable bond. It's a karmic attraction. An emotional bond that survives death. You could have been soulmates in a past life. This is brightening the day of another with small gestures of kindness and becoming childlike again. It's taking an opportunity as it presents itself to cast off old feelings and fulfill important wishes. It's digging up missing aspects of our rich store of past experiences. Could be the possibility or fear of some truths coming out. But this is a blooming spiritual experience. Could be thoughts of a past love that may be haunting. But if the relationship has ended, you're better off for it. And if the relationship is still going strong, it means a deeper commitment. It's love and harmony, enjoying safety and security. This is a soul connection. Things being done from the heart. Being sweet and charming and kind and tender, and tender, sentimental, protective. The Nine of Wands with the Six of Cups is a protected or sheltered child or childhood. It's emotional attachment that's involved here. It's, it's waiting and sheltering, being sheltered. And now your third card. This is how it affects you. These are the external influences that you're consciously aware of. The Knight of Pentacles, Cancer. Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Cancer, or Capricorn. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Now, Knights are always in mission, on a mission. They're, he's doing his duty. He's making an offer. Could be bringing good news. This is keeping your actions simple. It can be a communication, a message, the coming or going of a matter. It's being poised on the edge of adventure or travel. This is someone that could be bringing good news about money. This is someone that's determined. They're patient. They're responsible and they're predictable and they do their job. They're solidly dependable. They put their nose to the grindstone and they get things done. This is someone that's eager to get back to their regular routine and that's working towards a goal. It's a midway point in taking initiative, offering stability, fulfilling obligations, completing projects, getting or giving money or job or house hunting. 
The Nine of Wands with the Knight of Pentacles is nothing will stop you from your goal. You keep going even though exhausted. Your fourth card, it's the position of the future. It's the outcome, the results, the resolution. The Queen of Swords, Cancer. Air Energy Person, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Could be in your chart or as well as someone else's. This can be an independent, mature person with authority. They have a keen mind. They can be a writer, a lawyer, a minister. They can be in the military or in the uniform like a law officer. They're a professional. They're strong-willed and they've been able to cope with loss. They can be divorced or widowed. They provide solutions with truth and honesty and teach us to accept life as it is. This is a great teacher, a communicator. They have great clarity of thought. This is pursuing your desires with strength and maturity. This is someone that treasures solitude, and they're able to overcome loneliness by doing independent projects. They love to share their knowledge. They have an agile mind. No one can trick them or fool them. It's thinking carefully on your decision and researching other people's viewpoints. It's leaving your past behind and making sure your dreams are not interfering with your responsibilities. It's being clear in your decisions and your behavior and making sure your point of view is thought through and with sharp, sharp wit and self-possession. Then you stand by it. The Nine of Wands with the Queen of Swords is someone that has experience with decision-making. Could be protecting your thoughts, guarding your thoughts, your boundaries, decisions. Your fifth card. It's the bottom of the deck card. The underlying issue. This is what's unseen. Number 13 of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite deck, Death. This can be a Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, second reference to Scorpio here. This has to do with change and renewal and transformation. It's an ending and a closure and then regeneration. Transformation and change, it's destruction that's followed by renewal and this change may be in the consciousness. It's the birth of new ideas and new opportunities after a time of pause and reflection and discovering what no longer fits in your life. This is a dying away of old habits and old fears or old hopes or old ways of dealing with the world or old relationships. And this experience can seem shattering. But if we welcome change, we find that death leads to new life and new possibilities. This is an opening to something more important. You may need to give something up. This release may be difficult or painful, but the time has come for the new. It's letting go of someone, it's creating closure, it's new life to follow for the better. But old ways must first be we bait my oh, bleh, old ways must first be destroyed to make way for the new that is coming into being. So letting go and letting the universe because resisting can cause pain. The Nine of Wands with the Death card, this is resisting change. It's defensiveness or struggles that could be ending. The Six of Cups with the Knight of Pentacles is a beneficial offer with roots in the past. Could have been a long time coming. The Six of Cups with the Queen of Swords is past decisions made with mental clarity and conviction. The Six of Cups with the Death card can represent your childhood. It's remembering the love and the bonds of relationships that are no longer in our lives. It's celebrating the anniversary of someone passing. The Knight of Pentacles with the Queen of Swords is slow resolution after conflict or a difficult decision. It's trying to bring balance. The Knight of Pentacles with the Death card is proceeding with caution after a change happened. Queen of Swords with a Death card is putting something into action that will change things. It's a communication or a message that trend, then so that transformation can unfold. Archangel Power Tarot card number 15. Decision by Archangel Jophiel. Release yourself from that which holds you back. A need to detox. Unnecessary worry based on a lack of self-confidence. Number 15, Decision. You're being called to break free from anything that is holding you back. Archangel Jophiel can help you release any feelings of helplessness or fear that's creating a sense of entrapment. 
The good news is that the limitations that you perceive as hindering your progress are self-created and therefore can be uncreated. You can free yourself with the help of God and the angels. Negative thinking can keep you from moving in the direction of your heart's desire. Ask Arch Archangel Jophiel to keep your thoughts flowing in a positive direction. Allow your spiritual wings to carry you away to the life of your dreams. Additional meanings. Focus on material possessions. Overspending. A need to detox. A lack of self-confidence. An unnecessary worry. Archangel Jophiel is known as the Angel of Beauty. She can help you see the positive in any situation. She is also known to visit people via the scent of, scent of roses. So if you smell this fragrance, know that she is assisting you in that moment. Ask Archangel Jophiel for guidance whenever you need to be able to see the way clear to freedom and joy. Thanks, you guys, Cancer. I hope you stay tuned in and leave me a comment or a thumbs up. And please subscribe. Now remember, what goes around comes around, so I'm sending you out love and light and blessings. Thanks for watching.